Instagram question. What day do you have your refeed on? Is it a training day, rest day, or does it not matter? Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt Ogus from legendsofesthetics.com and I'm gonna get right to answering the question. A refeed is usually just a day or a given block of time uh, within your week where you consume generally more calories in the form of carbohydrates. Refeeds are usually implemented when a person is already uh, pretty lean. Also, you know, perhaps if that person's working with a pretty big caloric deficit and they kind of put that refeed in there to sort of offset that deficit a little bit. So uh, it could just be utilized for personal preference. I'm really not that lean at this moment and uh, if I were to get myself onto a caloric deficit, say I'm trying to lose, you know, uh, one and a half to two pounds per week for a little bit of time to get me down from like the 190s down to the 180s Yeah, I'd still be using a refeed each uh, week. So the question when do you have your refeed day? I'll start off with what people typically do is people typically will have their refeed day on the hardest workout of the week Probably their squat or deadlift day when cutting especially deeper into the cut um, fasted training usually kind of isn't uh, as popular as unfasted training Though uh, if you do unfasted training, it's probably best to put that refeed day the day before the toughest workout. Uh, if you train uh, more so in the PM or later on the day, you could probably get at least one meal in. Um, probably put that uh, refeed uh, on the day of the uh, hard training session. So personal experience in 2011, I had a refeed day uh, once a week. It was on my leg day. I had a bro-ish type split where it was like, you know, chest. Uh, Monday, back Tuesday, leg Wednesday sort of thing, and it uh, worked out pretty fine. Uh, 2013, I more so had a legs push, pull off, repeat workout split, so my refeed day would land on different days of the week all the time, sometimes on off days, sometimes on leg days, sometimes on push days, sometimes on pull days. Generally, I try to increase the carbohydrates surrounding the workout both pre and post. Or sometimes a refeed day sort of served as a cool, interesting opportunity to eat out with fa friends, family, or whatever, uh, where sometimes on refeed days with more carbohydrates, you kind of have more options. And you know, refeeds can be quite psychological too. Um, I've noticed in my past contest prep seasons that you know you're pushing exercises, especially the bench press, OHP, etc., uh, really start to dip. Um, you know, your progress stops, your maintenance eventually stops. You start declining quite a bit on the OHP bench, and uh, putting a little uh, refeed uh, the day before AM session or the day of a afternoon or PM session might kind of give you that psychological little boost to. Uh, possibly maintain some more strength on push exercises. That's something I might probably do in the future. My recommendation for you guys is to, uh, with wherever you put your refeed, um, in terms of the week as well as um, the majority of the macros, ca uh, carbs, in terms of just the day of the refeed as well, in regards to the workout, where the workout is placed, uh, or the refeed before an AM workout, uh, gather data on yourself, you know, uh, Mentally record how you feel with the workout, how the carbs affected you, what times, etc. And uh, you gather this data and eventually you kind of find your sweet spot. For other people, it may not even be a huge deal when you put the refeed uh, or where in the day you have the majority of your macros. Okay, I hope that answered your question, man. Matt Ogus, legendsofesthetics.com, signing out.